on in the morning. It's getting ready now. And the town weekend has officially started. Well, no Mr. Blue Sky in sight today, but that won't put a damper on my mood. There's the place. Let's go. I sit here recording the final segment of this vlog, whatever. It's 8 p.m. on the Sunday. I've been back from Entercon for about a few hours now. Had supper. You know, it's been a it's been a long weekend, and I'm just about ready to go to bed, take a nap, and just kick back. But you know, let's at least talk Entercon. So Entercon 2017 was a blast, and I mean like just a complete blast. Uh, like from everything, from just walking into the convention to seeing Saturday morning cartoons like right at the door but what convention that you know of opens their festivities with Saturday morning cartoons and it's a G1 and then today they had the Beast Wars so it was fun that was a really good start and uh, even working the door was so much fun because you got to hang out with people and chat and you know shoot the breeze and I had a wonderful conversation with uh, Captain Fizz and the Mask Guy at their booth. Check them out. Their podcast. There'll be a link in the description down below. I need to check them out because they sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, Geeks Pro, they had an Amiibo tournament going on. And that was pretty fun to sit in on. I participated. Uh, they had a buy-in. I, I used a Yoshi Amiibo uh, called Roshi. Purple Dinosaur. So uh, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty funny. Uh, Phonic the Hedgehog. Phonic. Yeah, that, that was the nickname of the Sonic Amiibo in the tournament. Uh, I went up against Mewtwo, uh, and a Mewtwo Amiibo, he was just incredible. Uh, Mewtwo hits really hard and fast in that game, so... He's good to play as, but uh, not always to play against, unless he's being controlled by me, in which case he's terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was fun, Geeks Pro, uh, check him out on Twitch. Link in the description down below. So much good stuff in the description down below. There'll also be a link to the Entercon uh, page itself on uh, the, the Intercon website, I should say. And of course, the guest of honor, Richard Newman, voice of Rhinox, and Captain Ginyu in the uh, in the uh, ocean dub, Dragon Ball Z. Gentlemen, you can't make it as a Ginyu on brute strength alone. A Ginyu must be able to showcase his grandeur and fabulous strength in a variety of poses. Now, it's your turn! I want to see you men strike a pose! Watch! Captain Ginyu! Got it! Which is apparently one of his favorite roles, which is really surprising. Got us a, got an autograph from him. Very happy. Finally met one of the many prolific, fantastic voice actors of Beast Force. Lovely gentleman. We did the script reading, and that was a ton of fun. I played the bit part of Injector. Uh, the weird hornet lionfish fusor thing. I still need that figure. Uh, I helped uh, Dennis and I uh, ran the uh, trivia contest. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Surprisingly big hit. We got uh, we got a request for it to happen again next year. Uh, I probably should have chosen uh, a few more less obscure categories. People aren't really big on the uh, 
the the RID 2001 show, which is a shame because I really do enjoy that show. But uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, apparently, we've got requests for uh, a Rescue Bots category next year. And apparently, one of the uh, participants told me that uh, the one of the voice actors on that show is actually Mark Hamill. And I didn't even know. I didn't even recognize him. So it, it was strange. Like I recognized Tim Curry, but but not Mark Hamill. I feel I feel ashamed of myself now. I failed you, Mr. J. And you too, Luke. I, I, I failed you too. So, sorry about that, buddy. But yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun. And just, you know, it's, it's hard to put into words. You really have to be there. And I'm sure, like, the footage probably looks cool. Like, oh, you would love to go there and buy toys. But it's so much more than just buying toys. It's about celebrating the Transformers fandom with fellow Transformers fans. So it's always a lot of fun. But uh, I know what you're probably really here for talk pickups so first day first pickup of the show <laughs> 10 bucks because it's missing quite a bit and there's at least uh, one busted piece but it's G1 Optimus Prime oh jeez that joint is tight after 30 years oh There he is, the legend himself, G1 Optimus Prime. Missing his fists, his gun, whatever. One of the smokestacks is broken off, but who cares? For ten bucks, it's an original Optimus Prime. This thing's beautiful. It's got die cast in the feet, in the chest. He likes to do that. He, that's Prime in the Limbo contest. Limbo contests are the right to all sentient beer. So. And Peter Cohen's impression is terrible. I apologize to anyone before I agreed with that. Also. Five bucks a pop. Picked up the couple of the G1 Decepticon Pretenders. Mr. Bombburst here. Uh, as you can see, he's got a bit of paint scuffing. We'll just call that battle damage. He's missing a few bits and pieces, but I mean, come on. These things are awesome. Yes, there are supposed to be robots inside, but I really don't care about any of the pretender inner robots. They all look kind of lame to me. It's like the, the real personality is in the shells. <laughs> so that's cool. There's Bombers. Here's a uh, Bugly. <laughs> what a name. Got the pincer sword, a uh, little pincer hand right there. Got the wings on the back. Black and purple and green. Something that'd be right up uh, Fuse Alley from Fuse Awesome Transformers Reviews. If you haven't checked him out and you're a Transformers fan, check out his channel. Yeah, so you can see. So we're wondering why the Pretenders are so fat. They're not fat, they're just thick. It's because they have to house an entire robot inside. I mean, look at these things. There's some, there's like some, like, uh, maybe it's just me, but there feels like some clear uh, Super Sentai Power Rangers influence. Like, these look like monsters that Power Rangers would fight. <laughs> it's crazy. Also, for uh, five dollars, uh, we have here Beast Wars Transmetal Rat Trap. E, that transmetal's all right, but I can't. I prefer my old body, really. I prefer my generation's toy. That one's real nice, but this one is really nice too. As you can see, as most know, he is very prone to paint flaking of the chrome paint. Let's see if I can take like a, a chrome marker and see if I can fill in all that. Hopefully I can. I do really like the color scheme of his like his head sculpt with the green and the blue and the orange. Very complimentary. <laughs> also for five bucks he was in a bag with a bob that had an unfortunately broken arm. It's megabytes for reboot! Fortunately he's got a loose loopy arm there. I'm gonna have to glue that back in place. Oh dear. But yeah, it's megabyte for crying out loud. The main villain. See, you can see in there, he's even got little teeth picked out in paint. That's dedication. You didn't see that all the time in toys. You don't see that all the time in toys today. Like, it feels like parts of them are kind of a softer, rubbery plastic, which might explain that. Things hanging on by a thread there. I'm scared to touch it. I'm going to have to super glue it. But yeah, megabyte. Rest in peace, Tony J. You're the man. That is so cool. Add that to the hopefully still growing collection of reboot toys. <laughs> Fifteen bucks. 
in the Cobra Collectibles booth. Age of Extinction Scorn. This is one that I skipped out on, or missed out on during the original Age of Extinction line. I I've seen the Voyager one from the last night toy line. I really don't feel like I would want to buy that. Like, I mean, it, the, the robot mode looks fine, but the dino just... I prefer this look overall. He's got a uh, tail. He's got his butt for a hand. He's a, he's a, uh, a butt hand, as they would say. Very, very good look. Always love the Medieval Knight aesthetic. I do like that it continued for the latest movie. I haven't seen The Last Knight, so... I will uh, do a full review of that. Uh, still gotta do that Power Rangers movie review. Jeez. Oh, procrastination is my one weakness. That and Transformers and puppies and babies and kittens. Keep things in general. <laughs> and for 20 bucks, final pick of the day from a very nice... Uh, Gentleman Boof, who was selling a lot of G1, including some VHS tapes from Rhino in, in Generation 2. I wish I had picked those up, but, you know, budget. Toys come first at this convention. It's Robots in Disguise x -Bron. I believe this is uh, his repaint, because the original was uh, more gray and uh, silver and uh, kind of like a teal green. I don't know, but as you can see, very happy to have one of the uh, Autobot brothers checked off the list. I love Robots in Disguise 2001. It's a great show. It really is. Very fond memories of watching that online TV back in the day. <laughs> Vortex. Vortex! Oh, man. One of these days I should just do a YTV memories video. That'd be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Just be me sitting here for like half an hour talking. Actually, no one would watch that. <laughs> Shut up, you nerd. Oh, and of course, you can't forget the buttons. I started to grow a fondness for buttons. I don't know why. Is it just a geek thing? I'm not sure, but... This was the main button. This is what function is your weekend pass. Here. There. Oh, it's just... It, it's Rhinox. It's... Because Richard Newman was our guest. And... <laughs> the Entercon 2017 Ben Yee exclusive. A tradition. As you can see. Ooh, that rocket has some girth. <laughs> I think he's ready to blast off. <laughs> oh, but... Yeah, that was the convention in a nutshell. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just, you know. Keep it weird. Uh, love whatever you love, whether it's Transformers or comics or games or whatever. Or music. We cover all sorts of things on this channel. We don't really cover music. I'm not I'm not a big, big music guy. Like, I'm not... That's a topic for another video. Take care, my friends. I'm a video gamer. I'm a skateboarder. I'm a